Hey guys, today I'll be sharing my thoughts on the recent locked and loaded update after one month. It's definitely the biggest update we've ever seen in Population 1, so let's get straight into it. Let's start with the biggest addition, the new weapons. They brought the Matadors back and added three new weapons, the FAL, the RFB, and the Uzis. I'm very glad they added new weapons as it has been over a year since a new weapon has been introduced. I'm also extremely happy they brought back the Matadors. I did not understand why they needed to vault them at the end of that season. Although it was a controversial decision to make the four weapons as easy to use and strong as they are, I understand that Big Box wanted this to be the shiny new feature of the update. If you think back to early 2021 updates with new weapons, they were all the strongest weapons at the time they were added. Then they were either nerfed or vaulted by the next update. However, I think that this is not a good permanent weapon meta, so I think the new weapons should be nerfed to the level of the other weapons by August. I think these weapons should definitely stay in the game and start getting new weapon skins. It makes the game feel really fresh. Speaking of making the game feel fresh, the new recoil pattern is fantastic. It feels a lot more natural than it did previously. Although the new weapons are by far the biggest part of the new update, I think the new recoil pattern makes this the biggest update we've ever seen because it completely changes the game. For the reward system, I like the monthly rewards a bit more than the events where you just have to collect things around the map. I think it allows you to better focus on the match itself rather than finding the collectibles as well. The ranked point system is also super cool. I think these are better than the ranked events, like the Thanksgiving one. I think they can certainly implement this for the holiday events. For the rewards themselves, they're pretty good. Most of the skins from Population 1 do not disappoint, and June's skins are no different. The NYX, Spectre CX4, and Phoenix MP5 skins from the shop look great. The Gilly Ace is good for a skin that you can just get from playing matches, but not so good that it should be a shop skin. I think the Cyber PJ for July accomplishes this just as well, if not better. The titles and flight trails from the Rank Points event are awesome looking as well. The colors are super cool. The Golden Roy might be a bit too much gold, but the skin looks badass. In my opinion, the only golden skin that looks good is the Golden PJ. The Hattie and Roy look a bit odd with the ridiculous amount of shiny gold, but they're pretty badass and great for flexing. I think that's exactly how the golden skins should be, just absolutely over the top. The Seeker Silver Store is also an awesome addition. However, as much as I enjoyed getting old character skins that I missed from Season 1 and 2, I disagree with their decision to re-release them. I think they should have just had the re-release weapons and the exclusive Seeker Silver Store character skins, and that's it. I think the new game mode rotation should also be mentioned. There isn't a whole lot to say about it, but I think having squads permanent and two rotating alternative game modes is the way to go. It provides options while keeping it fresh. The lineup for July is going to be awesome, especially with duos. For my overall thoughts, I think it's a great update. With Metropolis and Locked and Loaded, I really like the direction the game has been going in 2022. I hope the updates like this continue in the future. That's all I have to say about the update. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Drop a like if you want more videos like this, and subscribe for daily VR content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Reality. It is touching the truth.